hello guys welcome to my channel so if the game is not launching or if it is crashing or not loading or if you're facing freezing stuttering and black screen issue on ps5 then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to restart ps5 do not ignore this step just restart your playstation 5 once so you can go to the power icon and then select restart ps5 and after the restart you can check now the next step is to log out and log in to ps5 now for this on your ps5 you can go to the home screen and then on the top right you will see your profile icon you can select profile icon and then hit log out and then once you're logged out log in once again and then check now the next step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all shut down ps5 so now go to the power icon and then select turn off ps5 now once you shut down ps5 now unplug power cable unplug all the wires connected to the ps5 and wait for 20 to 30 seconds and then you have to replug everything so unplug everything from the ps5 now wait for 20 to 30 seconds now after few seconds you can plug in the cable back to the ps5 so plug in all the cables the power cable the hdmi cable so whichever cable is required you can plug in the cables once again and then you can check now once plugged in now you can power on your playstation 5 now the next step is to check for game update so if there is any update you can check it so go to the home screen on your playstation 5 and then select games and then you have to select your game now once you select your game press the options button on your controller and then you will see an option we say check for update so update your game and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update ps5 now to update ps5 uh, you can go to settings so on your home screen on the top right you will see settings the gear icon select gear icon and then go to system now once you go to system you will see system software go to system software and over here you can see system software update and settings select this option and then you will see update system software and then you can hit update system software if there is any update it will update your playstation 5 and then you can check in my case it is already up to date now the next step is to switch to different networks so if you have any other network available you can connect to different internet different network and then check now you can even use phone hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot and then you can go to network settings on your playstation 5 and then you can connect to your phone network and then check you can even try network connection now to switch to different network uh, you can go to uh, settings on your ps5 and then go to network option and over here you can click on select setup internet connection and then over here you will see different networks so if you have any other network available you can switch to different network from here you can even select your phone network uh, you can use the hotspot and then you can check now you can even try ethernet connection so if you have an ethernet cable uh, you can connect your ethernet cable uh, to your playstation 5 and then you can check now the next step is to change console language now for this you can go to ps5 settings and then go to system and then go to language over here you can see console language so once you select console language you will be able to see different language so you can select the language which you want now if the language is already selected whichever language you want if that is already selected you can switch to different lang language and then you can again switch back to your language and then you can check now the next step is to disable or enable hdcp now for this go to settings on your ps5 and once you go to settings now go to system now go to hdmi now once you select hdmi on the right hand side you will see enable hdcp now if this is already on you can turn this off and then check if it is already off then in that case you can turn it on and then check so try both 
first of all disable it and then check if that does not work you can enable it and then check now the next step is to select game default or performance mode in game preset option now for this you can go to settings once you go to settings now go to saved data and game app settings so go to this option and then go to game presets on the left hand side once you go over here on the right hand side here you can see performance mode or resolution mode now first of all you can try default so select game default and then check if that does not work you can even try performance mode so try both and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to delete game data and cache now when you do so you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so you can create a backup first now for this uh, you can go to settings once you open settings on your ps5 now go to save data and game app settings and then go to save data ps5 and then on the right hand side you will see upload or delete from console storage you can upload your save data to cloud storage over here and you can delete it from the console now you can select this option now once you select this option you will see the list of games so you can select the game for which you want to delete the data now you select the game and then on the right hand side you will see the delete option but before delete just create a backup because you will lose all the game progress so once you have the backup you can click on delete you can select delete and after delete you can restart your console and then check now the next step is to reset console settings now when you reset console setting all the saved settings will be lost and you have to set up your ps5 once again so for this you can go to settings open settings and then go to system now once you go to system go to system software here you can see system software and then scroll down on the right hand side you will see reset option so select reset option and then here you can see the option which says restore default settings so select this option and then you will see this screen restore default settings the following settings will be restored to default values and you will see the list of all the settings all these options and these settings will be like set to default so you will lose all the saved settings so if you agree select restore and once the restore is done uh, after you hit restore you will see this the settings will be returned to default values are you sure you want to continue so if you are sure you can select yes and let it complete and this is your your ps5 will restart and then you can set up and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to uninstall the game uh, you can go to the home screen and then select games and then select the game which you want to uninstall and then press the options button on your controller and then you will see the delete option hit delete and then after this restart your ps5 and after restart you can reinstall the game once again and then check now the next step is to rebuild database on ps5 now for this power off ps5 first so go to power icon and then turn off ps5 now once playstation is off now you can press and hold the power button on playstation till the time you hear two beep sound now once you hear two beep sound you can release the button and then once you release the button now you have to connect your controller using the usb cable so on the screen you can see connect the controller using the usb cable and then press the ps button so you can once you connect your cable here you can see i'm connecting my usb cable i'm using the usb cable to connect my controller once it is done now you have to press the ps button on the controller now once you press the ps button you will see the screen and then you can go to the option which says clear cache and rebuild database now once you select this option you will see rebuild database now once you select it you will see the screen which says the database will be rebuilt it might take few hours to rebuild the database now if you want to go ahead you can select okay and then after that you can check now the last step is to avoid 
overheating of PlayStation 5. So if your PlayStation is overheating, you can shut down your PlayStation 5, wait for 15 to 20 minutes, let it cool down and then you can restart your PlayStation 5. Also make sure there is enough space on your PS5. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on PS5. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.